So this morning we heard quite a bit about mobile. Uh, everyone in here has a mobile device, we know that. And we've been working on ArcGIS Mobile for um, a number of releases now. And it's getting better, and it's getting much better with 10. Uh, and they're not just big ruggedized devices, they're smartphones and new platforms that we're working on. So to take a, a, a deeper dive into that, I'd like to introduce Martin Copping and Dave Cardella from the mobile team to give us a look at that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tim. Morning, everybody. I know that many of you out here this morning have been working with ArcGIS Mobile at the 9.3 and 9.31 release, and I no doubt you've cracked open the .NET SDK, you've integrated it with Visual Studio, and you're building your own custom applications, your own custom workflows that will fit your, work, your business needs. And of course, I know many of you have also taken advantage of the out-of-the-box or the ready-to-deploy application that we would provide you for the Windows Mobile and the smartphone devices. And of course, you're using ArcGIS Server to now deploy your mobile applications and your mobile projects to your workforce and to your client. So the question that we want to ask is, what's new with ArcGIS Mobile at the 10 release? Well, the first thing is, you're now going to be able to leverage maps and, and content inside of ArcGIS Online on your mobile devices as well as inside of your mobile applications. Now, you're still going to be able to use your on-premise ArcGIS server. You'll be able to leverage the maps and contents that yourselves or your clients have authored on these. Another thing that we've done is we've enhanced the Windows mobile application. Uh, so we've given it such things as photo capture. We've enabled it to now to consume tile map caches. And we've also integrated field crew tracking. We've also given the mobile application an extensible framework. And we'll get to that in a little bit. One of the things we're introducing with ArcGIS Mobile 10 is a new application management support service called the Mobile Project Center. Now, the Mobile Project Center is going to facilitate the centralized management and deployment of both your projects and your applications. It's going to have a very simplified installation process, and it's going to be something that is separate from ArcGIS Server. Another major improvement is that we have taken that same handheld application that you've seen at running on the Windows Mobile platform, and we've ported it to a tablet PC platform. It's going to be a, a fat finger or a touch screen application um, that will help for hands of my size. And of course, that will also support day and night usage. Another thing that we've done is we've given this tablet application the extensible framework as well. So the question is, what does this mean for us as developers? Well, this extensible framework is actually going to minimize or cut down on the time that we would need to spend developing custom applications from scratch. Now, why don't we take a look at this? And here is an example of how we've taken the extensible framework, and we're going to configure a very simple add-in for the Windows tablet application. So as developers, we've been tasked by our EMS staff to come up with a very simple application for when they go to respond to a fire incident. So we're going to use Visual Studio. We're going to use this ready-to-deploy application, and we're going to repurpose it with a simplified workflow. So what we've done is we've created three simple commands, and we're going to place them here on the UI as buttons. And by simply clicking on the button, I'm going to, it's going to allow me, as the user, to sketch feature attribute or feature location. Once I'm finished and I've clicked Accept, it's actually going to return me now to that view map interface. Now, naturally, of course, there are many field updates that I would have collected on this device. And so those updates are also going to be able to be synchronized back inside the geodatabase and then, of course, shared across the enterprise. So why don't we take a look real brief at some of the code or what it takes to build this add-in. So what I've done is I've bookmarked a few lines of code. And if we look here, here is where now we're adding these three custom commands and placing them on the map view page as buttons to collect our various features. We'll skip ahead to the next bookmark. And here is now where we are starting to create this new feature. And this is going to actually automatically call the start editing of this feature. In this particular lines of code, we're going to find that we create the sketch geometry collection method. So it's already done for us. And here is where we're able to now set the title and description of that view map page. And last but not least, this is where we're going to actually start sketching. So we can see that we didn't actually have to write any controls. We didn't have to develop any new pages. What we simply did is we took the application, we reused that framework, and we made a very simple workflow with an add-in. So it's really that straightforward. Now, 
ArcGIS Mobile 10 has many more capabilities. And while you're here this week at the Dev Summit, I'm really going to encourage you to make sure you attend the technical sessions, come by the island, speak to the developers, really take this opportunity to dig into ArcGIS Mobile and see all the, the beautiful things that it has in store for you.